is the Emergency Medical Minute. Okay, there are only three spiders venomous to humans in North America. What are they? Black Widow, Brown Recluse, and Chilean Recluse, which isn't here. So, uh, do we see Black Widow bites? Yes. Do we see Brown Recluse bites? No, not in Colorado. They do not live here. Okay, you say someone has, I, I get patients come in, oh, I was bit by a brown recluse, because I saw it had a fiddle on its back, and the characteristic pattern is a fiddle with the neck pointed towards the back end of the spider, but not always, and there are other spiders that have that. The most characteristic finding for a brown recluse, it has three pairs of eyes, as opposed to most spiders have two, but it's hard to look them like that and figure it out. So people say they get bit by a brown recluse all the time, but they did not get bit by a brown recluse, and here's how you tell them. I have a mnemonic. It's called not recluse and this is what it stands so all these things don't apply to a recluse spider bite numerous if there are numerous bites it's not a recluse they only bite once very rarely will you see two and you won't see several in different body parts so brown recluse only bite once not numerous the occurrence when do they bite they bite between April and October so if it happens in the winter it's not a brown recluse. You tell the patients that. Timing. Okay, what are, what are the, the features about a brown recluse? It's because you stick your hand in a glove that's been sitting there or clothes that have been on the floor for a while or you reach into a cardboard box because brown recluses are reclusive. So they tend to hide and they don't get into places where people are active. Um, if it's red, it's not red. Okay, brown recluse bites are not red. Brown recluse bites are pale, sometimes bluish white, sometimes purple, because when they envenomate, it's a proteolytic enzyme, it causes immediate capillary uh, blanching and ischemia. So the, spy, the, the bite of the brown recluse initially is gonna be a white patch appearance. Um, if it's elevated, it's not a brown recluse. Brown recluse bites are flat. Sometimes you'll see a little raised vesicle, but if it's ever more than a centimeter, it's not a brown recluse. Um, chronic. Um, brown recluse bites don't tend to show uh, symptoms of the skin for more than about three months. So if someone has a chronic appearing wound, more than three months, unlikely to be a brown recluse. Uh, L is for large. They very rarely are greater than 10 centimeters. So if you see a, a wide, big red patch or anything bigger than 10 centimeters, not brown recluse. Um, all, U is for ulcerates early. They do not. Brown recluse bites ulcerate late, about seven to 14 days. So an early ulcerative lesion after a, a bite or a sting or a sensation is not a brown recluse. Um, S is for swollen. They do not appear swollen. They are flat, like I said. And E is exudative. They are dry. So most people don't see the spider. So they say, I got bit by a spider. Don't, don't know what it is. Now you can tell them it's not a brown recluse if they have any, any one of these symptoms. West Metro is here outside 26. Dr. Hunt, West Metro 26. The end. Emergency Medical Minute is, and always will be, about free medical education. Medicine's most prolific podcast is successful because of our supporters, donors, and of course, our listeners. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you support spreading free medical education, please donate at our website, emergencymedicalminute.com. As always, keep listening.